Hey, Brandon here with your weekly update. Let's start with the book updates. Stormlight 5 is at bing, 71%. That's right, 3% moved up this week. Um, I am getting to the end of a sequence, and I have decided to put off doing revisions until I finish it. So I'll be a, maybe a little faster the next couple of weeks as I get that, and then we will uh, have a dearth for a couple of weeks as I do revisions. But uh, feeling very good about that. We're approaching 75%, which will feel very cool to have. Uh, Skyward Le Legacy is still at, bing, 34%. Um, so let's talk about a whole bunch of updates. I've got a bunch of stuff to talk to you about today, uh, and they're, they're quite fun. First off is the Warbreaker box from our Kickstarter, the Year of Sanderson. We will begin shipping this week. Uh, so we already nearly have it fully packed. Uh, we're beginning to print the, the labels today. And so you'll start to see them popping up in your, uh, your emails as we send those off. So uh, this box should go out on time or even early. Uh, we're very excited by that. And indeed, we have still trucks coming in for Seeker Project 4. We're anticipating that one being on time too, unless some major disruption happen happens where we suddenly stop getting trucks of those for some reason. But uh, I believe our third truck just came, uh, which puts us in pretty good shape because we only need like seven to eight trucks to fulfill. So um, anyway, everything is looking really good for that. A uh, couple of things uh, that uh, that you might be aware of. We have the pre-order for the Defiant Bundle going live on our store one week from today. What are the bundles? Well, I, uh, for years, tried to get New York to pay attention to me because I thought when a video game comes out, you get the nice, cool bundle you can order that comes with a cool thing. I've got the one for The Witcher uh, 3 that's got, like, uh, you know, a statue and stuff like that. Um, like, why not let us on books buy the cool things? So this is something we've started doing. You've seen us doing it um, over the years. and um, So we're... Um, we are selling Defiant ourselves for the Dragonsteel store. We actually buy the books from a local bookstore, and then we put them in with uh, with some goodies that we'll be announcing uh, pretty soon. Uh, it's a very cool bundle. I pitched what we should get. I'm very pleased with how it's looking. Uh, so it'll be basically, you know, your, uh, your deluxe uh, edition. The book is the same book, uh, but it does come signed, and it comes with uh, some pretty cool swag. So if you're into the Skyward books, uh, you may want to be looking at that next week. Uh, we are moving to uh, the only way that we're going to be selling the book uh, signed is with these bundles. Uh, that's because we've just quickly become overloaded uh, with these, and we figure uh, this is a nice thing we can offer with the bundle. So going forward, uh, this is how we're going to be doing signed books. Uh, you can also, of course, uh, get them at the convention. Correct me if I'm wrong. They will be signed at the convention, and so uh, like, uh, and they will be numbered at the convention too. And the ones in the book bundle will also be numbered. So if you're not coming to the convention, the book bundle is your way to get a signed numbered edition, and it will come with cool swag at the convention. You can also, you will be getting a signed numbered edition as part of uh, buying your way in. Does everyone have to buy one of those? No, you can buy a ticket if you got your book somewhere else, uh, but the book somewhere else won't come signed and numbered, but it might be cheaper because some places do sell the books uh, at a steep discount. So uh, it's really up to you how you want to go about doing that, but that's how we're going to be doing it. Um, so brace yourself for Stormlight 5. That's how we'll be doing Stormlight 5 is if you want to get the signed numbered edition, it's part of either come to the convention or it's part of the book bundle. Um, it's just because I can't sign so many books. You guys want lots of signed books and, uh, it's kind of difficult to keep up with you all, but, uh, we're doing our best. Um, so, uh, check out our social media for highlights of our aw awesome exhibitors at Dragon Steel 2023. Speaking of our convention, uh, last year we had 16 attending authors, and this year we have over 50. Uh, so it's becoming quite the fun place to just come and see authors at their booths. Uh, this is something that I've always kind of wanted to do is have a really nice author-featured uh, sort of expo. Um, so imagine this as kind of like a Comic-Con for authors. Uh, so come and see all these authors of BookCon. Something's already called BookCon. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Uh, watch our social media. 
Uh, we have uh, another little thing with Defiant. Barnes Noble has a pre-order sweepstakes. Uh, link in the description. This is when a signed Defiant, a custom dice tray, and a copy of Call to Adventure Stormlight Archive, which is uh, one of the, the board games that we've made. Uh, a very fun game that, uh, that I like quite a bit. You can get that. This is probably my guess. They haven't written it down, but since it's Barnes Noble, it's probably only U.S. because Barnes & Noble is a um, U.S. company. So um, let's see. Oh, this is fun. A lot of you have been asking about the narrator for Secret Project 4. So the narrator for Secret Project 4 uh, is different uh, from the previous three. Uh, it's not a celebrity. I did try. Uh, you can I posted on Reddit. I tried hard to get some celebrities to do these, but the Secret Projects, the timing was so tight to get them done that none of the celebrities that I talked to were able to do it. They were all very nice, um, but they just couldn't quite make it work. Uh, so it is um, a narrator we've used before, but it's not Michael and Kate. Uh, we picked someone different. Uh, different uh, for this one just be to have some variety and we'll be announcing that on this week's Kickstarter update which is coming out tomorrow or Thursday so if you're curious about that narrator uh, we'll be announcing that. Um, Michael Whalen, the artist who does a lot of cool art for us, specifically for the Stormlight Archive. Um, he's the featured artist in an active Kickstarter campaign. Uh, some of the art featured is uh, from The Way of Kings, uh, Shalon, Rhythm of War. Link in the description. Uh, Michael is awesome. He's just so wonderful and delightful to work with that anytime he mentions, hey, I've got this thing coming up, we want to signal boost it because Michael is my favorite uh, illustrator. I've loved his books uh, uh, his illustrations on books since I was a kid, and uh, I'm really thrilled whenever he's doing anything uh, that I can that I can signal boost. So, last thing is our podcast week eleven winners for our brackets. Are you ready for this? This is a double upset week. That's right. On our food heist, the Gnocchi Brothers Gnocchi Gnocchi Brothers Gnocchi Restaurant has been defeated by the Edelstahlkugel which is quite surprising to me. I thought the Gnocchi Brothers Gnocchi Brothers Gnocchi Gnocchi Restaurant would make a, a nice uh, t-shirt, but you guys have chosen the Edelstahlkugel, which uh, I can't fault you on. That's a pretty good story. So that has won 53% to 47%, pretty close um, vote. The bad story is also an upset. That means that the Great British Fake Off, my favorite to win, has been defeated by Weekend at Vader's with an actual zombie. Um, I have no idea how we would make a t-shirt of Weekend at Vader's without it being uh, an absolute uh, um, copyright problem. I don't know. I don't know how it works. We'd have to look into it. But uh, anyway, 55% to 45%, you have chosen Weekend at Vader's uh, over the Great British Fake Off. Um, so um, maybe you just think that that one is the, the, the better bad idea. Uh, maybe the Great British Fake Off is just too good an idea to, to make it. So uh, we'll be back uh, next week with another weekly update, and I think we will have um, another of our results from uh, this is this is our, our final four. So we're, we're pushing toward the end uh, of this bracket. So I've had a lot of fun with this. Thank you all who've been voting on that, and we will see you next week with another weekly update.